Hey guys, it's Carrie and Byron. We are in Alderson, West Virginia, and we're gonna just take you through for a little walk here. Yes, so what you are seeing here is the renovations that are going on for the new Alderson Elementary School. So they are in the works, as you can see. Looks great. This is a memorial field in Alderson. A lot of community events happen in here and you will see soon that it's set up with food trucks right now um, and a stage. This is for the 4th of July celebration. So this come evening time will be packed with people enjoying each other's company, music, games. And they also have a huge fireworks display on the 4th of July. So we're gonna keep walking. We're gonna walk back towards the river. So getting over that area there. As you can see, 4th of July is huge in Alderson. A lot of the homes are decorated in red, white, and blue. They, all, they even have a competition for the best decorated house. Really? Yeah. I mean, how will this guy do right here at this house? I mean, that's pretty good. The brick building that we're coming up on the right hand side after this house with the siding is the public library. And then coming up on our left hand side is the current playground and then beyond that is the current elementary school. So right here, this brick building with the door on the corner is the library. And then over here, I'll raise you up, is the playground. And then you can't see it yet, but the school is behind that. One neat thing I like about this school is this huge greenhouse. So they help teach the kids to learn to grow and then eat what they grow. Let's serve to them. So one of the nice things about this school is, are, are they allowed, are the kids allowed to bike here? Yeah, bike, walk. Okay, so it, as you can see, there's tons of houses right around the school and um, just. There's more. It's a very community oriented neighbor. Or feel. Yeah. All right. Which way are we going? We'll straight. just walk straight ahead towards the river, and you can kind of see some of the houses. And Carrie, what what's the price range typically in downtown Alderson? So uh, we sold a place that was less than a hundred thousand dollars in downtown Alderson, but then we've also sold a place that was almost four hundred thousand yeah. dollars. So there's a, quite a sweeping range great for all price points. There's also a variety of home styles. So you have Brick Ranch, you have Victorian, Colonial. Very noisy truck coming. So this house here, they've, they've decorated for the right? Yes. They are ready. These streets this is all part of the parade route. So these will be packed with folks. So the parade route, where does it start? Do you know? It's on these side streets and then it goes in this direction that we're walking now. How long does it last? Well, it's a three mile parade and it lasts a good hour, if not more. And the parade's in the morning, is that correct? Yes, and like then... around 11 or so. And the fireworks start at? Normally 10. 10. Yeah. But there's all kinds of activities. The festivities for Alderson started already. So they have stuff for multiple days leading up to the 4th of July. They also have a strawberry festival. They do 4th of July. I mean, New Year's. Strawberry Festival, did I mention that? You did. Okay, so. That just happened, right? Yes. yes. So that happens maybe around May? 
Mm -hmm. And then, um, yep, straight ahead. You can cut here, but straight ahead's the river. Yeah. And it's a nice river town, so I'll carry your, carry your eye if you're interested in taking a look at Alderson. Bye. Bye.